Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project, it's your favorite YouTuber Tony here. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you the ultimate solution of bypassing the BlackBerry startup screen guys. For example, if you had an older BlackBerry with a password, uh, well you reset the phone and because the BlackBerry servers are down there is no way for you uh, with the uh, you know a regular process to bypass the BlackBerry ID so you can access your phone. The first thing you can do which I highly recommend is uh, flash the latest autoloader for your particular device. It's very easy, plenty of videos on YouTube, but download the latest version. If I find links, I'll put them in the description down below to make sure this method will work. So if you're watching my video, most probably you have uh, done everything you can, but you cannot hear what other videos are showing, which is skip the BlackBerry ID button, you press twice and you're in. Because of some devices and some particular situations, you're not gonna hear that unless you follow a specific steps, guys. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm connected to my local Wi-Fi uh, now and you press this button three times like that. You turn on the screen reader and check this out. A lot of videos... Okay, a lot of videos are saying you just keep swiping until you hear the skip button. Let's see if that's the case. Make emergency call, but connect to a mobile network. Connect to a mobile net to connect to a mo If you don't have a SIM card, you if you don't previous button, skip button, not available. Connect to Wi-Fi. You need a data connection to continue. Connect to Wi-Fi. Sandpiper close. Sandpiper clerk connected. VM four million eight VM four mil WPA slap EE Wi Fi EE Wi Fi open SRS ZF five SRS ZF WPA slash WPA two plus touch the screen to touch the screen to set a point of regard. Now we're gonna use the end for next and P for previous buttons over here, guys. So what you need to do is you press skip over here, you press three times the button and check this out. Switch on screen, switch screen reader on. Tapping the power button three times, BlackBerry ID. With a BlackBerry ID, you can access BlackBerry products and services such as BBM, BlackBerry Blend, BlackBerry World and the anti-theft feature in BlackBerry Protect. Designed to prevent anyone from setting up your device without knowing your BlackBerry ID. Sign in. Create account. Learn more about BlackBerry ID. Previous. Skip. So, can you have a look at that guys, what I did over here. Quickly, I press the button three times, I press P for previous and on the next screen, when I activated the screen reader, I press N for next and the device started to talk about the BlackBerry ID. Finally, this is the correct procedure and check this out guys, I'm gonna start to type over here until we hear the skip button. Menu bar. Previous button, double tap to activate. Blackberry ID. Blackberry ID. With a Blackberry ID, you sign in button, not available. Create account button, not available. Learn more about Blackberry ID, link. Learn more about Blackberry ID, not available. Previous button, double tap to activate. Skip button, double tap to activate. Skip button, double tap to activate. Blackberry ID. With a Blackberry ID, you can... Okay, and pretty much up to this point, I have pressed the button three times uh, to stop the Blackberry and pretty much that is it, guys. Um, we are finally in. Let me have a look why this, uh, you know, Turn us back to the screen, unable to connect to the network, please try charging your settings. Okay, settings um, is going to be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, dodgy over here. It wants me to put my password once again to connect to the web network. It doesn't really work as intended, but there we go, guys. Have a look at that. Now it's going to take some time to do the regional update and stuff like that. But pretty much I found that this is the only solution 
to this uh, problem. Guys, pretty much <clears throat> uh, there is no other way around it. It's very simple, but as long as you follow the correct uh, steps properly this is going to happen guys and uh, yeah pretty much this is the this is the solution guys and pretty much voila we are in guys our blackberry is totally uh, you know bypassed and just to verify what i was saying to you earlier about the autoloader version. I believe that this one is running the latest autoloader. We go back to the settings and we're gonna go back to, uh, let's have a look guys. Let's see about Blackberry. Yeah, 10.3.3.3.2.1.6. This is the latest update that I could find. I'm gonna try to put a link in the description down below but yeah what i would recommend is just flash the latest autoloader for this method to work because i've tried on an old blackberry q10 with the initial operating system and it didn't work so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one adios